A wise man once told me that people generally don't care about your opinions. They just want to hear theirs coming out of your mouth. They get most upset when they don't. Welcome Classic Rock fans to another visit to the fragrant world that is trolldom. Where we get to imbibe those the noxious vapours of illiteracy, stupidity and downright lunacy. So for this collection of unflushed turds, let's start with the latter, shall we? Well, let's start off with the first one. The first one is from uh, uh, Viva Mel Vegas 7965. The artists you never talk about are usually black women born after you. They do exist, you know. But you as a white middle-aged male have to ignore them in order to get the clicks from your white male middle-aged followers. Well, as Paul Simon said, another white old dude, you've got to keep the customer satisfied. Why not expose them to something different for once? Uh, no, absolutely not. This channel is about classic rock and progressive rock. Uh, I don't have to meet any diversity quotas. This is what this channel cut its teeth on. It reflects my own personal interests. So if you want to see videos on, on Sam Cooke and Nina Simone as wonderful artists as they are, you perhaps should go elsewhere. In fact, what I did do, I did actually do some research on the internet and found out there were quite a number of channels that deal with um, hip-hop, urban music, reggae, ska, all sorts of, I uh, think, classic soul. And I trolled them. I said, in my opinion, you don't talk enough about Aerosmith and Pink Floyd. Well, their advice was they told me to go forth in the strongest of terms and go and find um, YouTube commentators that did. But there's some sage advice there for us both, don't you think? But I suspect I'm being accused here of uh, an ism, implicitly at least anyway, which chimes with this sort of batshit bonkers world that we now live in. Um, guilty until proven virtuous. Do you know, it's funny, years ago, if, I, if I'd said to my mother, that man across the street, uh, he's a racist. She would have said, uh, why, what did he say? She certainly wouldn't have said, why, what did he not say? And uh, this next one is in response to my Lennon video. The one about Lennon and Judy Garland. Excuse me, drinking my coffee. This is an interesting one. Judy wearing blackface was racist to an entire race of people. So whatever he said about her, she deserved. Well, you know, if we were to consider the remarks that Lennon made to Brian Epstein frequently, I think it would have Hamza Youssef in a complete froth, wouldn't it? Plus, I don't think you should be bullying somebody who is mentally ill, although in saying that I'm giving you a platform. Blackface, as cringeworthy and as inappropriate as it looks now, and I fully understand that, was a popular theatrical trope way back in the 1930s and 40s, even 50s perhaps. And everybody from Judy Garland, Fred Astaire, Bing Crosby uh, adorned it. But as L.P. Hartley said, the past is a foreign country. They do things differently there. And the fruit loopery continues. Let's go on to the next one. So long as these fascist Zionists don't like Roger, I'll keep on turning up and buying the tickets. Love him, he puts on a great show to go with some great records. With some great miming as well, by the way. To be honest with you, I don't give a damn about Roger's politics. I don't give a damn about your politics either. To me, that video was all about ability to perform, uh, and that was it, really. If you're, having to, if you're singing, you're having to mime, then that's dishonest, especially if you're not telling your audience about that. And here's another one. Oh, my God. Why Roger Waters, man? He I a great. Or have you some gender fascist Jew ideas about him? GFUS. Do you know, I have no idea what GFUS actually means, but I'm sure of one thing. I could eat a bowl of alphabet soup and shite out a smarter statement than whatever it is you've just said. Oh, the triggered indignation. Everything seems to be about politics uh, these days. As Frankie Boyle uh, once said, uh, feel free to tweet your outrage on a mobile phone made by a 10 year old in China. It's just exhausting to put up with this constant hand wringing and grinding of teeth these days. There was an excellent quote by the Irish poet W.B. Yeats uh, about being overwhelmed with such ass crackery. I can't remember what it is. When I do remember it, I'll stick it down there. This is from Classic Rock Chick. I get a lot of uh, comments from her mocking my English accent. I think she's suggesting I'm a little bit of feet. You're such an idiot. I bet you wouldn't know what to do with my body, would you, loser? The only thing I'd like to do with your body is identify it. Um, again, this is just one of many of the sort of comments I get from this person. Then we get on to this chap who's a complete arse crack. Gypsy Dean, at your age, you should be quit making cheesy videos. And the guy doesn't exactly look like a spring chicken himself, to be honest with you. 
No photos of the groups you want us to look at your face for the whole time. Punctuation, it's so important. You should have made a quick intro and just for show photos of the groups instead of forcing us to look at you. Well, I don't force you to watch my videos, you can just piss off and go back to your basket weaving or something. Fortunately, I could use the bars under the video to see who you listed and avoid the rest. If you hold my videos in such low esteem, why would you even want to bother looking at the listing below the video? I think um, I feel some sympathy for Gypsy Dean, or whatever his name is. I think the meth is telling you that you have something worth saying, but the meth is lying to you. My channel did very well last month, got 1.1 million views, so I don't need you to tell me how to do my job. I mean, I don't come to your place of work and tell you how to sweep up, do I? I canceled my subscription, you pompous snob. I don't think you had a subscription. You always get these people that whip themselves up into a bit of a froth and uh, tell you they've canceled their subscription, knotting up their panties and leaving in a huff. But your leaving is just uh, one more thing I need to add to my list of things not to give a fuck about today. I didn't mean to offend you, but if I did, it was a huge bonus. A uh, wokery. Oh, look, a condescending Brit. And what is this? America's Got Talent? I find there's a lot of people on the internet attack you if your vocabulary extends to more than two or three syllables. Anyway, another response to the Lennon video I made quite a while ago. This is Mad Human uh, Galdus 333. I think this person's left remarks before, by the way. I, well, using it. Uh, oh, the, the prose is exquisite, isn't it? And it's so easy to be brave hiding behind your keyboard, she says, hiding behind her keyboard, surrounded by your Mark Chapman and Lee Oswald posters. How in the world are you going to see laughing at fools like me? Who on earth do you think you are? Superstar, well, right, you are. She's obviously quoting the John Lennon song there. Just because you expressed an opinion on something in somebody's biography doesn't mean you endorse her assassination, does it? You triggered loon, you. I use the word triggered here advisedly. As I said, she's left to comments on my videos before. As Groucho Marx once said, uh, I'll never forget the first time we met, but I'll keep trying. And while we're quoting song lyrics, here's one for you. You're an idiot, babe. It's a wonder you still know how to breathe. Now that's instant karma. Uh, here's one from Tedgerman, or Todgerman, I think his name is. All you do is complain about shit you don't like. Why would anyone give a shit? I think if we look at the content of my channel, there's a lot of videos about reviews and all sorts of things and boxings, interviews. And he says, why should I give a shit? I think in your case, it's probably the most valuable contribution you'll ever make to the world. Uh, let's go to straight one. Ken Slater, you're an ass. Uh, Ken Slater, the internet is just one big ass and you, my friend, are just passing through. Uh, the man was assassinated once already, talking about the Lennon video again, uh, but I guess you'll get views you're looking for. Someone should drag your false before the world. Uh, judge him by who he was when his life ended, unsubscribe. Uh, don't you mean unsubscribed? Or are you advising people to, un maybe he's advising people to unsubscribe. To be honest, you leaving a remark like that makes it impossible for me to underestimate you. Um, if I've upset you, uh, I think it's worth remembering that life is full of little disappointments and I'll just add you to my list. I think this is the sort of person that likes to play victim. I'm surprised he doesn't carry around his own body chalk. Let's go on to the next one. Who cares what you think there never was dickhead? Punctuation is so important. You do realise by putting a comma after think and there never was dickhead, it sounds like you're signing off as the never was dickhead, which is quite funny really. Anyway, who cares what I think? Over 60,000 subscribers these days. The more pressing question is, who cares what you think? Your videos and the thoughts pertaining to them are simply, you don't need a comma there, simply boring and mostly garbage. Maybe you should consider another line of work. Well, if I pushed your buttons in my defense, I can say I was just looking for mute. Uh, in terms of line of work, I think the most noble thing you can do in life, I think, apart from trolling, of course, is to perhaps consider becoming an organ donor. Sorry, Duda, but bollocks. Not that uh, T10, top 10 list, ESP but more so your own criteria. Uh, okay, uh, I don't understand. Now you're saying that just just because old singers can't reach their back cat notes or don't care to try, 
Why the question mark? Well, I'm not so famous myself. Just a 54-year-old ex-Keys bassist unable to play live now because of T1DM hands. Can still sing though, just not like I used to in my 20s and 30s. So I've got to stop then. Well, I see it. If people want to listen, what the fuck are you to pontificate? Geez, get off your high horse already, okay? Keep rocking in the free world. I have no idea what language this is. It looks like Klingon to me, but at least you're attempting to string words into a sentence. Um, the point I make in the video is not about singers who are old and have to uh, readjust the songs to suit their aged voice. I have no problem with that. Most of us are sympathetic to the fact that these people are are not young anymore. Robert Plant, I think, uh, changes the tunings of the Led Zeppelin catalogue when he sings it, so he can sing it more comfortably. No problem with that whatsoever. The problem I have is when people uh, lie and they mime to these songs. When they're miming, it's deceitful, as far as I'm concerned. Especially if they're not telling their audience that they're miming and they're not performing live. I've no problem with artists rearranging the material. It's just about uh, being honest with your audience. Daniel Rock Year 949, I think he's saying, bullshit, clickbait, crap, get lost. Well, I am Captain Clickbait, remember. I think people misunderstand what clickbait is. They're assuming just because they don't like the video that it's clickbait. Clickbait is where a video draws you in promising something, but doesn't deliver. And that's what clickbait is. Unfortunately, people like this are legion on the internet. It's, uh, it's for people like this, they still put instructions on shampoo bottles. This sort of shit rots the brain. So it's refreshing when you get a, a well-articulated, reasoned and mature comment like this one. What a jealous man you are just because you're not doing it. Even your Yui hair has enough and moved south. What a jealous man. What an illiterate twat, I would say. You know, George Carling said, uh, never argue with an idiot. They'll only bring you down to their level and beat you with experience. Uh, I've never come across this person before. I don't know who you are, but please just tell me you don't homeschool your kids. In terms of the hair, well, it's just in the genes, isn't it? Whereas being an arsehole is probably something you've had to cultivate. Uh, Swish Swish 386 says, this is this bloke's stock and trade. He's definitely a pretentious and pseudo-intellectual rage baiter, but... I still watch him. Obviously, his shtick works. Rage bait. I think if somebody gets enraged by my videos, that's very much on them. I'm not responsible for somebody's triggered emotional response. Uh, Pseudo-intellectual is somebody who pretends to be intelligent, pretends to be an intellectual. I don't mean to blow my own trumpet. In fact, there was a British comedian that said, if I could blow my own trumpet, I'd never leave the house. I think somebody who has a master's degree in an academic subject from one of the UK's top universities Let's put it this way, I would place my qualifications on the table next to yours any day of the week. You'd probably come back and say, yeah, well, I've got a PhD. But I doubt, because I think a PhD would know how to use an apostrophe. Oh, you grammar fascist, you. Uh, David Thong, 7127. Suitable for a ridiculously pompous man. Pompous is an insult that's often thrown at me. I prefer eccentric progmeister. Most people that know me understand this not to be true, especially if they've seen me enthuse over my vast collection of Madagascan fart whistles and some ageist remarks for you but your old ass is still out there and that's what your mother said and you've put a little clown icon there you probably think you're a bit of a wit you'd be half right anyway uh, if I am a clown then it probably means my shoe size is larger than your IQ anyway if you want to see my old ass you have to make your way to my OnlyFans site now there's the stuff of nightmares for you says an old dude of a YouTube channel you old fart you should be celebrating the old guy still rocking. How about retiring your YouTube channel? Do you know it upsets me that uh, there's a tree somewhere having to pump out oxygen just to sustain you? Older the violin, sweeter the music. This is a complete misunderstanding of these videos I've put out. Um, I'm not saying that somebody's too old. I've never said somebody should retire because of their age. I've never said that. A uh, big fan of Steve House, Steve Hackett, who are well into their 70s and still playing beautifully as far as I'm concerned. I've no problem with whatsoever. And you, sir, are an idiot. And you, sir, are an irritating fart sucker. While well, we're throwing out silly, unsubstantiated insults at each other. Although I'm not insulting you, I'm describing you. Uh, then we move on to the unpleasant, the more unpleasant. I watched your spastic hands closely because Parkinson's disease is a hoot. I think the person's probably about as popular as a bonus track on a Yoko Ono album. Watched my spastic hands closely. Well, it's glad to see you're paying attention. 
I, I, I take some heart from that. I get a lot of comments about people who don't like the way I speak or the way I gesticulate with my hands, but this is my style, this is the way I do things. If you don't like it, then I suggest you just jog on and watch something else. Wearing a Robert Cray t-shirt leaves you with zero credibility. Same t-shirt I've got on today. I think comments like that establish that you have zero credibility. And you're not the dumbest person I've come across on YouTube, but you better hope he doesn't die. This is a response to those Please Stop Touring videos. The same could be said about this channel. Thumbs up. Wow, another individual who is as sharp as a sack of soup. I must admit I applaud your courage for including your thumbnail picture there. It looks like somebody has dropped a mullet over Alan Sugar's sex face. Not that I know what Alan Sugar's sex face is. I'll make that clear from the get-go. Hell, I was young. I was ambitious. What can I say? And we get this guy who's ranting away due to my apparent, my apparent yes-hating tendencies. Uh, this is from Prog Rocker NZ. I probably presume he comes from the Southern Hemisphere. When someone creates a top list of the biggest whiners and crybabies on YouTube, you're going to find yourself voted at number one. I certainly hope so. You and the rest of the haters of Yes, who haven't contributed anything to music and never well think you have the right of it. What the fuck are you talking about? Yes had a very successful year in 2023 with a good album and a much-loved tour of the USA. Well, if you actually watch my videos, you'll see that I did a review of their last album. I actually rather liked it. I still like their new album. Um, my only criticism of the new album is, is I don't know where Jeff Downs was when they were making it. Uh, you say there's not much love between Steve Howe and Rick Wakeman, but over a year ago, Rick was telling everyone he was meeting up with Steve for lunch. You should remember, if you check out my interviews playlist, you'll see that I've interviewed quite a lot of people within the Yes camp. Including Steve Howe, I've spoken to him two or three times. I've even read Steve Howe's autobiography, which I suggest you should do that. Uh, that way you probably know what you were talking about. Blather, blather, I'm going to skip a bit. Remind us again how sustainable ARW is. Who gives a fuck about ARW? You're worse than some nosy neighbours gossiping this load of cods while to enrich your own self-absorbed lives. He's using the plural lives, so I guess he's talking about all of us here. You know it, we all know it. He's obviously, this guy's obviously an authority speaking on behalf of everybody else. The reason Yes is on here is because the soiled frilly knicker brigade called John Anderson fans are still bawling at their precious saviour not being in Yes. You lot need to get a life. I think your remarks demonstrate you have all the authority of a do not tumble dry label. The crying onion. Well, I'm critical of your channel because you've changed your content. Every video now is just a sponsorship showing off box sets for old white men that haven't done anything good for 30 years. Again, this obsession with skin color. Shameful, I have to report you for hate speech. Uh, maybe you need to think about what made this channel good. Well, if you remember, if you go back a, a number of years, this channel used to just be the occasional classic album review, the very occasional top 10. When it first started, it was one classic album review per month. Uh, then a few years back, it was occasionally top 10 videos and worst to best videos, because I worked out they were quite popular. But even then, there'd be a video every week, every fortnight, because I was having to work full time, had young children, just didn't have the time for it. Those videos are still made with the, the same frequency that I used to make them, but now I upload a video almost every couple of days because I have the time and the space. Now I now do this full time. Plus I get sent loads of stuff to promote, review and unbox, which is fantastic to be honest with you. In terms of the quality content this channel has, it still makes that content as frequently as I ever did. The classic album review videos tend to go onto my Patreon now and it takes about a year, but they do eventually feed through onto the main channel. Anyway, that's as many as I want to go through today. This should make it a nice long video. Um, I know you've all said you've enjoyed this Trolls video, but this will be the last one I do because it's just exhausting having to sift through all these unemptied piss pots, to be honest with you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please do click like, subscribe, and check that notification bell, as usual. And I'll leave you with my closing salvo, which I hope you're well, staying safe, and of course that you keep listening.